What is up, bros? Me, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm going over the Shinonome. The Shinonome is one of the newest premium ships you can actually get for quote-unquote free in World of Warships. This is actually achieved by going through one of the campaigns, the Honorable Service campaign. If you go all the way through it, this is the harder campaign to go through. You get to the Mission 5, do the final task, you get the Shinonome, as well as an 11-point captain. So cool, free uh, premium ship you can pick up and it, it's uh it's actually kind of cool it's relatively hard to go through this it took me a little over a week or right around a week i think to do it but if you kind of push it and kind of focus on those you know i was kind of focusing only on honorable service one not the science of victory so i haven't quite finished this one yet but if you guys don't know anything about the campaigns i will put a link down below to a video i made on the campaigns to kind of give you a brief overview i won't go too much into those but the shinonome is one of the prizes you can get for completing one of the campaigns so kind of cool for them to add in an extra little premium ship definitely a uh, japanese premium ship uh especially even a destroyer now with the split to help you retrain captains or something like that so a tier six premium dd for the ign line this is basically a premium fubuki with some differences mainly it's not quite as good as the fubuki in a lot of situations it only really has two things that are better one has a little bit more armor um than the fubuki uh with uh, 15 to 16 millimeters so it has a little bit more armor it also has a bit better maximum dispersion than the fubuki other than that it's kind of worse in every situation but i actually did really did enjoy playing this ship so let's kind of quickly go over it main battery uh well it has 12,900 health uh just the exact same as the fubuki uh reload time of nine seconds 77 meter dispersion which is just a little bit better than the fubuki um a, a slower reload than the fubuki seven percent chance of fire i was actually hitting things relatively hard with this ship and i actually really enjoyed this i really like aft on this and we'll go over a ca quick captain build um, on this and the good thing is you can switch in a premium captain into the shinonome or any captain uh into the shinonome and not have to worry about retraining or anything like that so i was using my shima captain which had concealment expert as well as aft so this is actually a lot of fun to play torpedo tubes now this is one of the downsides of this well let's just go over uh the main battery range is nine kilometers while the fubuki's is 10 so another thing that's not quite as good now let's check out the torpedoes the torpedoes are just like the fubuki's three sets of three but actually they're shorter at eight kilometers the fubuki has 10 kilometers they are a bit faster though at 63 knots but i think i would honestly take the slower fubuki torps the fubuki has 59 knot torps at 10 kilometers i think i would actually take that trade for the extra two kilometers the one good thing is at this ship you can automatically f switch in a 15 point captain so you do have that bit of a buffer let's say with the concealment expert captain so it is kind of nice i honestly would like the the 10 kilometer torps there are several situations where i would have done more damage um, with 10 kilometer torps than i would have with the eights but it does have eight kilometer torps basically shoot them whenever you got them but i think i would honestly take that trade off they do a little bit less damage at 14,600 than the fubuki torps uh, but all in all it, it is a pretty nasty weapon you can kind of do some great air now i do wish i had a little bit extra range the aa is almost non-existent in this ship compared to the fubuki the fubuki has relatively decent uh aa for a destroyer the whole japanese line kind of has some decent aa now so the aa is almost non-existent even with aft and uh, maximum speed of 35 knots turning circle radius of 640 meters uh, basically everything else is, is is identical to the fubuki so it's basically a premium fubuki with a bit shorter firing range a bit slower firing rate and shorter torpedoes that do less damage but they're a bit faster so there's some trade-offs there i think the armies uh, the armor is kind of negligible and everything else is is almost identical the upsides of this ship one it's a premium ship you can switch in any captain so this is the captain i rolled with let me grab him from the reserve this is my shimakaze captain so that's the best part you know you start with a brand new line you got to grab a brand new ship but you can instantly throw in the sky so one this is going to drop the detection range down to uh i think it's 6.1 which is pretty respectable and you can uh, have a blind firing range of 9.9 .9, which i thought was awesome because this is actually a pretty fun uh gunboat the alpha damage uh, the, the japanese destroying line is, is known for its alpha damage and its guns doing a really really good amount of damage they just shoot slower so i definitely saw that if i was in smoke or dd was rolling up or even just shooting at battleships or cruisers i was able to do a lot of damage against those ships especially if i had forced repair with my torpedoes uh, i was able to set them on fire and being able a little less than a kilometer stealth firing range of the 9.9 .9, i thought that was pretty awesome especially if you get up to your 
you're going to need to be as stealthy as possible, but you still need to deal damage. Um, there were certain situations, like I said, where I wish I had the 10 kilometer torps, but the 8 kilometer torps do a ton of damage as well. Um, I had one really good game with this uh, right at the end, and I was just hitting almost every torp. It felt awesome. The reload seems relatively quick too when you're actually playing it, like as you would play the Fubuki. So, um, a really good, I think this is a relatively strong tier. I actually really enjoyed this ship. It may be that I enjoyed this ship because I was able to switch a captain in it. And in this captain, this is what I'm rolling with this captain right now. Basic firing and training, so I can shoot a bit faster with the guns. Last stand, an extra smoke with superintendent, uh, advanced firing and training, and concealment expert. So, I really like this. I really like the ex extra range on advanced firing training. It lets you continue to shoot when you need to. Keep pumping out damage because that's the most important part about these kind of ships is being able to um, pump out as much damage as possible. Now, you are not going to win situations against, like, if you're close range against a Farragut, you may hit some pretty big shots, but he's just going to continue to pump out damage. As uh, Just like uh, if you're getting up tier, let's say your bottom tier, you're going against tier 7s, tier 8s, you need to be very careful because you're going to lose the majority of those uh, gun battles. Now, it only has um, two sets of two, or three sets of two, uh, for its main battery, but they do turn relatively slow, so kind of anticipate where you are going to be shooting and, uh, you know, kind of what's going on. So, um, because if you don't, you're going to kind of get punished. So let's go over modules really quick. Modules are pretty basic. This is only tier six, so there's only four slots. Uh, main armament mod one, I think that's pretty basic. You could potentially go, I would just go with main mod. If you don't have uh, detonation flags, you could always take that, help out with the chance. Aiming mod system, I think that's the main battery. You want to get a little bit extra dispersion if you can. Everything else is, I mean, you don't want AA, it's not going to do anything. Propulsion, I always prefer propulsion. Although I do run last stand, even if you've ever played a DD and your propulsion does go out, you can still drift out of a smoke if it's knocked out. You can still slow down much slower, speed up much slower. So any chance to knock out to lessen the amount of propulsion is awesome. And then I went pro with propulsion mod. I would probably change to steering gears. These are relatively long ships, so it might help you get away from like, let's say a cross drop on a CV or even just getting out of the way of torps and whatnot, because you tend to kind of hunker down with smoke in this ship, you know, lay down smoke and then kind of sit in there a little bit. So any kind of chance to maybe get away. So I would probably go with steering gears on that, but all in all, I really did like the ship. I thought it was pretty fun to play. Um, it's it's that good mid tier. Now tier six isn't getting the best matchmaking right now. But we got pretty fortunate. The thing about destroyers is they tend to up tier decently, being as they are a relatively stealthy ship. You know, even with the fifteen point captain, you can be pretty competitive against even tier eight ships because their detection is only going to be a little bit um, less than yours. You know, even a, a, a fifteen point Benson captain's at five point eight, so it's not that terrible. But you do have to be very, very cautious. You know, um, the good thing is you're not running into too many radars at tier six. You know, a couple of tier eight ships, a couple of tier sevens are going to have it, but you're not running against it like you would in a tier eight with uh, playing a ton of ships that have radar. But um, this ship, how I played it, I played it a bit as a gunboat, you know, gunboat with the torpedoes, or I guess a torpedo boat with some really decent guns. I, I tend to shoot a lot. I used a lot of cover. Um, definitely abused the stealth firing range as much as I could, which is only available if you do run AFT. So that's why I do recommend AFT. I don't think at quite at tier six, um, the extra health is worth losing the stealth firing range and the extra little bit of range. I really did like that. So, um, this is the Shinonome, guys. I hope you guys are at least working towards it. If you guys don't even know, like I said, I'll put a link down below on the campaign video. So start working on those campaigns. Pick up this fun little ship. You can play it as an awesome gunboat. You can play it as a um, as a tort boat if you want. It's basically a Fubuki with earning some extra credits because it does have the captain. Retrain your captains, help all that. It's a great middle tier ship. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I hope you guys too. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.